welcome to the Teaching Corner. Today I wanted to talk to you about place value and how incredibly important that is for our math concepts. If our students don't understand place value and how we can take things apart and put them back together, it makes math concepts really, really hard. So having kids work on a a place value chart where they can do hundreds, tens, ones, and fractions of ones is really important. I know uh, younger kids don't necessarily work with the fraction part, but as we get into older grades, fourth, fifth grade, they start working with that. But the wonderful thing about having a map like a mat like this is if you have these manipulatives, you can show your hundreds and then you can have your tens and then you can have your ones. I have seen as well where someone would take the one and they would make a little uh, one out of like Play-Doh or I think this is like that tacky stuff you put on your wall and they would do the one and then if you can see we go from flats to rods to individual cubes and so here we start with the cube and then we go to flat rod cube. So it continues the same pattern but they can take this and then they can take a little knife and shave off part of it for their flat which I tried to do here and then you can cut that a piece of that to get your rod and then they can cut the little tip off of that to get their next little cube to show how incredibly tiny that that is when we start talking about tenths, hundreds, thousandths of your one. So the only difficulty though that some kids will have I think with working with these or these is they don't come apart. So uh, as your kids get more concrete, these are really good. But another thing that I've seen, especially in a lot of the younger grades, is kindergarten, first, second grade, when they're doing their calendar and they're talking about the 100th day of school, they'll take like sticks or straws or something like that and they'll bundle them. But the cool thing about that is if you use that for your tens, then if you're saying like saying we're doing a subtraction problem and we need to regroup, you could take that 10 apart and now you could add that to your ones place and show the kids that 110, excuse me, 110 is literally 10 ones. And so now they could use that if they were doing a subtraction problem. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.